I was asked to look at a madrone tree that is obviously in decline and to give the client some recommendations on what they can do for this tree. My name is Blair Glenn. I'm an ISA certified arborist. My first observation is that, well, other than it being an absolutely gorgeous tree, is that the foliage on the tree is not anywhere as near as full as it should be. I would say it's probably only got about a third of the foliage that a tree of this size should have. The branch structure of the tree looks very good. and As a matter of fact, it's a magnificent specimen. When I started looking at the base of the tree and the location of the house and the root zone, I started to recognize some of the problems. First off, there is considerable areas of decay and declining wood at the base of the tree. Albeit it has been this way for a long time, these problems do have a tendency to catch up with the tree. These are areas that there is no longer transport of fluids because they are blocked off by uh, areas of, of decay. I walked all the way around the base and on each side of the tree there are areas that are very dry. Another significant observation is that the house has taken up part of where this tree's root system used to be. You have to remember that the tree is very old. It's much older than the house. The house was probably built sometime in the 70s and this tree is is probably uh, close to 100 years old. When you put a house or do some construction on the root system of a tree, the long-term ramifications and impact can show itself uh, much further down the line. I believe that the construction that was done around this tree is finally catching up to it. So what do you do? Well, there is no pruning that's going to have any positive benefit to prolonging the life of the tree. You could certainly take out the dead branches, but all that's going to do is show you how much further it's declining. What you need to do here is to improve the environment for this tree so that it can hopefully start taking care of itself. Improving the environment for any tree that's in stress oftentimes meaning means adding additional water when it's very dry. Hopefully we'll have enough water this year, but we are in a drought situation. And when that happens, many trees react to drought by shedding many of their leaves. On the positive side, this tree still has um, a fairly large area of life on it. It doesn't show uh, big limbs that are entirely dead. There's still little bits of life throughout the tree. It's also important to preserve the uh, water that does go into the soil. The rocks that are around the base of the tree are good for decorative purposes, but they really don't act as a beneficial mulch for the tree. If you could add, um, say, fir bark or, or commercial mulch or even wood chips under this tree, it would benefit it greatly. So what you need to do is take away the rocks and add four to six inches of mulch under this tree. Continue to water it if you can find the water. I know that's a difficult problem in Las Cumbres. But uh, I'd water it every couple of weeks throughout the duration of the drought until the rainy season comes back. Hopefully it'll hang in there. Once again, my name is Blair Glenn. I'm an ISA certified arborist and owner of Saratoga Tree Service. Thank you.